Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and hey, Marvel Snap is finally out! Hooray! Now everyone can play. And that also means I was finally able to get the season pass! Yay! That means that I now have Miles, and now I can do a deck showcasing Miles. So that's gonna be today's video. So, Miles deck. So, um, if you saw D Free, D Free did a video on it, and I think he had an approach of Miles, and I've actually talked to him a little bit about it, is that Miles, this is what he does. If a card is moved last turn, this costs one. Now, in theory, you would want to use them in a move deck. My problem is, is that the move deck is very... Mm, it needs Heimdall turn six. So that means that if you are not able to play Miles by turn five, he's effectively a dead card. A one cost five drop is nothing when the entire deck kind of runs, runs around Heimdall. So it kind of makes it so that I don't think Miles really has a place in move unless it's very specifically in the traditional move deck. But his effect also triggers if your opponent moves, which is something completely different. So this deck actually has cards that makes cards on your opponent's side move, like Arrow. If I had Polaris, I would have used Polaris, but I don't have Polaris. I would have used Magneto, but Magneto's a six drop and that costs too much for us. Juggernaut, if your opponent plays a card here this turn, move them randomly. That counts for it. So that means these will all activate Miles' effect. We have Iron Fist here, where you can move a, make a card move a location to the left after it's revealed. If you actually time him up with Dr. Octopus, what you can do is that you can play him in a place that you know you're not going to try and contend. And then just move him to the left side. So it effectively means a board that is probably less contended will get a 10 drop. And then the one you already knew you were going to lose uh, doesn't have Doc Ock anymore. So it could be pretty useful. And then we also have Cloak. We have uh, Craven. We have Nightcrawler. The reason Craven's in here is because he can kind of turn into a very easy turn four. Uh, we have Enchantress here. It was either between Enchantress or Rogue, and the reason is is that this meta in Marvel Snap is very much focused on ongoing effects. So you need someone that can actually stop ongoing effects, or you're gonna have a bad time. And then we also have Storm here to kind of flood a location to kind of play around and stuff. She can interfere a little bit with Iron Fist, but funny enough, Iron Fist can make it so that people can move there. You just have to be very smart about where you place her specific flood. You either want to put it in the middle or you want to put it on the left side. Uh, Goblin here, just because... He's Goblin, and I think he looks cool. So, that's the deck. Uh, Iron Man also in here. If you can, if you, in theory, the best play you have is on turn six, Miles and Iron Man. Uh, the reason is is that um, you basically get a ten drop on turn six. In Iron Man's effect, where your total power is doubled at this location, is very good when you can drop him next side of a five drop, basically. Um, the best card in the game is actually Iron Man when he's under Mr. Negative's effect because he turns into a five, uh, a five attack, zero cost with ten power. So today's video, we're gonna go in here, jump here with this. Hopefully, it goes well. If you want to support the channel, you can always leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me about it, whatever as I continue to play uh, some Marvel Snap. I have no idea how well this is gonna go in my test practice with this deck. It has not worked out amazingly, but we'll see. <laughs> Ooh, whenever a card moves here, destroy it. That's actively bad for us. Let's go. Actually, if we can get... Ooh, we can do some fun stuff here. We have to just be very careful not to move anything there. But we'll see. If we can get the card I'm thinking of, either I'm going to storm away this location or I'm going to play... Um, I'm going to play a very specific card. I'm going to play Arrow, because Arrow would make it so that any card that moves here would just automatically be destroyed. And that could potentially lead us to win. Here's a fun tip that I had no idea of. Whoever is glowing, that's the person who reveals first. Misty Knight, okay. Mm. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's very bad. Um, hmm. I'm going to end turn. The raft can be uh, kind of game changing. <laughs> so if he just swarms the raft, he's gonna have a free six drop. Yeah, it looks what he's gonna do. Uh, no, that's not good. It's bad. It's very bad. Mm, that's also very bad. 
This is not the greatest if I'm being 100% real with you right now. I'm gonna put Goblin here because he's gonna be focused on the raft. Yeah, see, he told you. He might actually be able to win. Uh, I think I'm going to... Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Am I revealing first here? No, I'm not. So I'm not going to be able to stop it. Um... And then I'll go here as well. It's Ooh, that's kind of exactly what I need for here. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna make them basically drop all the ones there. Actually, that's not good, now that I think about it. <laughs> I might have actually just lost this one, but we'll see what he plays. Let's see, he has five cards in hand. He's gonna play one of them. Hmm, we'll see what happens, huh? Actually, no, I'm losing this one. If I take it as I'm losing this one, then yes, everything's fine. Force him to drop all these here. The Brood does nothing. Galactus does nothing. Hulk does nothing. And that's perfect for us. Ooh! Sneaky! Sneaky! Okay, let's see. Uh, funny enough, I think we can actually win this location. No, we can't. We can't win it there. It's unwinnable. Um, hmm. I think I just Iron Man here. Put Miles there. And then we'll see what happens from here on. He could so totally win this. Okay. Ooh. All right, so let's see how many big dudes we can put on the field here. If he has another big dude, he just wins. Ooh, I think we lose. Damn it. Not gonna make it in time. Wait. Oh, <laughs> we actually win? That was insanely clutch, let's go. Oof. Oof. Wasn't sure I was gonna win that one, but thank thankfully Doc Ock basically made him waste all his cards putting them right there. Ooh, I finished the mission. Thank you. Let's continue on. Oh, I unlocked something in the season pass. I'll check after this next game. But yeah, that's kind of in theory how you want the deck to go. It went pretty well. Ooh, nice squirrel girl avatar thing. Arrow would have been nice to have for that location. That's what I wanted. Uh, I'll play Nightcrawler here. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. It's not a bad location. Ooh, we have Miles. I don't want to play, I don't want to move him, but now we know that for anything, we have an easy Miles play. He didn't play anything by turn three. That kind of makes me think he has Mr. Negative. We'll see, huh? Nokia. Okay. Let's see now. Which one of these do I want to just kind of get rid of? I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then we'll move Nightcrawler next turn after we play Octopus. Um, yes. End turn. Hmm, this is potentially bad. Am I going first? Yes, I am. So I'm going to move him here. No, this is actually potentially very good. Put this here. So anything he's going to try and put it with Wong is automatically going to go to this place instead. Effectively killing his Wong as well. Ooh. Okay, alright. Well... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's see. I think if we go here... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
Do I want to risk it for how many cards in hand? Six cards in hand. And most he would potentially get two. I'm going last. Okay. And then I'll go Enchantress. There we go. We'll see what happens. If this is an oh, I am. I oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Changes kills your stuff. Yes. Are we done here? Yep, because I win by Every pure way. victory. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see what I got. Ooh, free credits. No. Spider Woman avatar. It would be nice to have her unlocked. There we go. Uh, -dum -dum -dum. Okay, let's go again. One more. Yeah, I sh oh, man, I should mention, I actually saw this build from someone else, I'm sorry I don't remember the name, but that's where I got the, the, the look for it. I always look to see what different kind of people are making what kind of decks. I think I ended up seeing it on a Marvel Snap site where they said this, I think this would be an interesting way to build Miles. Let me see if I can find his name real quick. No... Uh, his name is... I should also include it in the link. Because he's definitely the reason I saw like, alright, that sounds like an interesting... Opponent retreated, sweet. It gives me plenty of time to find the guy behind it all. Miles per hour. His name was Bane. There you go. Shoutouts to Bane. Dun, dun, dun. Let's play again. Yeah, because I was trying to think. I don't. I don't think he would work in a traditional move deck, just based off how he was kind of going for. But this this build definitely makes a lot more sense. And if they ever introduce more cards where you can kind of move them, it's kind of like Kingpin move basically, except for I think it's probably more consistent than that. I will put Nightcrawler here, sure. Nova! This could be to potentially bad. I have a feeling this might be Destroyer. I never trust anything that has... Okay. Okay, so... I have a funny idea. It's the thing if you had the same idea as me. <laughs> Same thing, man. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set this up here. Cause why not? I don't think he has his destruct. Oh, this could potentially be very good. All right, so I'm gonna play Doc Ock. And we'll see what ends up happening here. I pray to God I draw Miles next turn. But here's my thing, I think he's running Destroyer. So... Oh, there goes our one cost. Let's see what he's got. Show me what you got! Okay. Yep. Okay, so... Mm, this is... Mm, this is tough. I obviously don't want to fight it there. I can't play anything else. I really needed to draw Miles. Mm, snap. Mm. Let's do it. If I lose this, then I lose this. The way God intended me. Let's go, bro. 
Because he knows I'm not contending the destroyer board. They got me. Wind aid my hand. Yep, totally got me. Funny enough, if I had played two there, I think I would have actually won. But nothing I can do there. He played me. Totally outplayed me there. Oh, if I had actually put Iron Man, I think I would have actually won. <laughs> it's fun. That was a fun game. That was a fun game. That's why I like Octopus so much, is that he can make silly moves like that. Damn, if only I had gone in it the other way around, it would have been way funnier. Oh, that's not good. I hate this stupid effect. So much so, I'm just gonna get rid of it with Storm. That's fine. Iron Fist hit, it's fine. Ooh, that's kind of annoying. We're fine for now, though. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Ha! We both had the same idea. Wind my hand. I'm going to put... I think you here. Opponent snapped. Okay, we'll see what happens. You replace something here and get to smart it out or... Ah! Well, he's not here anymore. Bye. Okay, let's see. Turn five. I think I can force... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I could potentially get screwed out here, but we'll see. Ooh, okay, that works out for me. Force them to go over here. Ooh. Okay, that works for me. Put Doc Ock here. Ah, uh, it gives me another turn to potentially draw Miles. Okay, so let's see what card in your hand is gonna be up here. White Tiger, please don't go, okay, that works. Uh, okay, perfect. And I think we just simply win. I think I'll go here, go here just in case. Yeah, and we win. I mean, let's see, actually. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, did I win? Tie. <laughs> so close. Mm, Wong Dex, again. Like I said, you need some form of, like, ongoing removal, and Enchantress helps with that a whole bunch. Alright, let's do one more, and we'll see how this goes. Hey. It's you! <laughs> the, the run back. Here goes him. See how this goes. I'm not as confident now. We unfortunately did lose, just lose Doc Ock. Yeah, he just realized it. What's up, buddy? I can't do anything here. All right, let's see. Let's turn seven. I'm gonna put him here. See what happens. Then put. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. He knows my tricks. He's not gonna fall for him. Activates. Okay. Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, okay.
This entire deck seems to be based around Wong. Uh, and I'm not gonna let him use Wong. <laughs> Rightfully so angry. Um, okay. Next, I think I'm going to put this here. Again, not letting him use... There we go. Anything that he wants to use, I'm moving it. Alright, perfect. Ooh, that's pretty good. So move him here. Move that there. Move that down. Bam. Leader's a sneaky play. I hate the leader so much. I think he's my most hated card. Alright, we could still lose this. But we'll see. Oh, we won. The salty run back. <laughs> the salty run back win. Give him a thumbs up. It was a good game. It was a good game. All right, I'm glad to end it off on there. Miles, I think Miles is a very uh, interesting card. I don't think he's the best card that has gone from a season pass. Is he nine dollars and ninety nine cents worth of good? No. Let me just put that out there right now. If you're buying the season pass, it's because you want this sick variant. That's like the only thing I would ever imagine. You can play this entire game free to play. I was playing this game up until level 2,500 something. I was completely free to play because I didn't have a choice. Um, I'm just simply doing this because I like this game a whole bunch. Which I think is the only reason that you should ever buy anything and anything. I don't think there's any reason to buy gold. I don't think there's a reason to buy this at all. It is extreme value, but... Because 700 gold is usually this much, and I don't know, Captain America is good, and it's always nice to have a very exclusive uh, variant, I guess. But in the general, I don't think you have to worry yourself too much. But yeah, that's the deck. If there's one thing I would say that is definitely should be added, it is obviously Polaris. I just don't have her, so I can't add her. Let me see if I can find her. She's under on reveal. Uh, let's see. There it is. Yeah, three cost five that moves an opposing one or two cards to this location. Extremely good because it also disrupts what your opponent's trying to play. Um, it does require you to probably to think just a little bit more about what you're placing and stuff because obviously one wrong move and it's all gone. I think you could probably put magic in here as well if you were thinking about it as a potential like, hey, um... I just think in general magic is usually a pretty good like hey just put them in there <laughs> for good fun. I don't know who you would actually take out though for them so you know you can definitely experiment around with it like I said um, I was not able to fully put in Polaris if you were to put in Polaris you'd probably take out Green Goblin um, though to be fair I really like Green Goblin I think he's a very cool card but yeah Definitely keeping Enchantress though. She, you saw through here, she literally was able to win me games. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Now that this is also has a PC version, by the way, I'll be able to record a lot more videos. So if you have a specific dude that you want to see, feel free to tell me. I have plenty of them. I don't have all of them. Fucking the leader. I hate him so much. You actually can't get Galactus. The only way to get Galactus is through the, um, uh, it's through random means. It's the only way, which is a shame. I think he'd be a funny card. And I also don't have Destroyer, which I think he's the best deck at the moment. It's between him and Mr. Negative, and I like the Destroyer deck a lot more. Because it's just big, beefy men doing things. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Until next time, peace out.